so I finished the shotgun. I finished the no, that's it. <laughs> Over the weekend, I was able to get the RK7 knife and SG SG12 gold, and now I'm using the Mozu as of 11/11/2018. Uh, and uh, the Mozu is a beast of a sidearm. Like I even before you get Skull Splitter. It's amazing. So, I love this damn thing. I got done with the headshots so fast. Even before Skull Splitter, I would think I was averaging five plus headshots a match. But then once I got the Skull Splitter attachment, it jumped up to more than 15. Like, it's not, I'm not even joking. That thing is nuts. Um, I have another gameplay, I think on like Militia or something. Like, the first match I, uh, got after I unlocked the skull splitter attachment and it is wild how cr like I thought when it was a one shot headshot that it was to like you know a certain like a, a, a distance that wasn't crazy far but no it's a, just a one shot headshot no matter where they are on the map and that blew my mind which is kind of funny to say because you know skull splitter has one shot headshot yada yada didn't mean for the pun uh, but yeah, it's nuts, and I love it. Um, so far, it's uh, been the easiest gun that I've ever gotten headshots with. I bet the SDM sniper is not going to be too hard either, just because of its one-shot headshot potential with high caliber. Um, and then the only thing that sucked was getting the 50 kills with no attachments, because, man, if you aren't accurate, it just doesn't do anything. I, oh, yeah, this is like when I literally just first started using the thing. Wow, I forgot how bad the people were in this match because at all counts, I should have died multiple times right there. Holy crap. But yeah, I love this thing. It's been so easy to get the challenges done for it. Um, I think my favorite setup so far is the scope stabilizer operator mod. I think that's all I use. So it's skull splitter scope stabilizer and then now that i'm using five attachments it's not bad but it's not super great either um i i don't know i like having perks with this because scavenger lets me get my ammo back while using a specialist i like whereas um what's the thing i was gonna say whereas like not using any special like any perks means i have to use crash if i want to get ammo because you run through ammo 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 super fast uh because of how quickly you just dump out all six bullets from the cylinder whenever you're using like spamming the gun uh but so far it's probably my favorite secondary out of all of them easy like I mean, the SG-12 is fun, but, like, this thing is nuts. Uh, but, yeah. So, that's my little review of the Mozu. It's amazing. Uh, if they don't nerf it, use the shit out of it. It's You can easily use this thing as a primary weapon. No problem. Especially after you get Speed Loader, which is only level 3, I think. Um, before that, it's kind of eh. But once you get that, it's, it's juicy. Oh, I'm really surprised. Well, I'm not surprised that I didn't get the double kill there. I thought they were, like, right on top of each other, so that would have killed both of them, but it didn't. But, yeah, the quick review of the Mozu is fucking it wrecks. It's probably the easiest thing to do the headshot challenges for so far out of every gun I've used. So if you're on the fence about doing Dark Matter and unsure of which weapon to start, I would say don't start with the Mozu because it's going to make you think it's going to be super easy and it... The Strife and the RK-7 stuff are not, not easy at all. Like I said, this team is not great. <laughs> Though, one thing is, uh, I try to be, do a cheeky quick swap to the Tempest to try to kill the both of them before dying, but it didn't work. The But the one thing I'll say is if you're not super accurate with the thing, um, and they have boosted health, you're gonna get wrecked um it's just f like i think with high caliber two shots to the head or chest like upper chest um and then i think no matter what other than that it's a three shot kill so 
if they have boosted health, it makes it, a, I would assume, a four shot. And if they have armor, that means you have to hit five of the six in the cylinder. And that that's tough, <laughs> especially when you spam it. Uh, I guess, I mean, obviously the easiest thing to do would be not to spam the trigger. But what's the fun in that? It's more fun to spam a revolver than not. Also, okay, I need to see what happens here because I completely lose track of this guy. Yeah, he must have just went down the other pathway. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he must have just went down the other path. And I just didn't see him coming up. We came up at two, like, not a close enough time. All right. I, when I was in the match, I was like, what the fuck happened there? <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. I like this revolver a lot. It's really good. I think in hardcore, it's a monster because it's a one-shot kill across the entirety of the map, which is nuts. Like... I don't, I, that's why I don't like hardcore and why I feel like it's weird when people are like, oh, I love hardcore. It's like, but it just, just, you just pull the trigger and it kills somebody. And it's, I don't like that. I like to have to actually fight somebody. I don't want to just kill them outright. It just feels like it's up to random chance if somebody wins the gunfight at that point. It's like, oh, my connection was slightly better, so I saw you first. Um, and I think uh, Peeker's Advantage exists in this game. And if you don't know what that's about, um, if you've never played Rainbow Six Siege, it's a really big problem there. Basically is where you, if you're rushing and you come out of a doorway first, if somebody else is watching it, depending on um, the latency, the person who comes out of the doorway will actually see the person waiting for them before the other person sees them. So the person post it up won't see the other player um in time and yeah uh, so with rushing it's really good for me but it's you know detrimental to the you know latency and all that stuff but yeah that's the match hope you guys enjoyed i think i went 33 and 7 so did work with the thing and all i had equipped was high caliber long barrel and speed loader so even with not, those are like the first three attachments that you get. So this thing wrecks even with that little amount of stuff on it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which will probably be the Skull Splitter one. But yeah, see you guys. Hope you have a good rest of your day.